Hey everyone, so I thought I would do a little grocery haul because I've made some changes. Um, yeah, right off the bat, I'll tell you that the beans are not working. <laughs> I said I was going to start introducing beans. They're not working for me. I'm getting this rash on my elbow that reminds me of the gluten rash that I usually get. So we're not going to be able to do beans. And by we, I mean me. I'm still going to make them for my kids because my kids really like them. So yeah, that will probably still happen. But let's get into the grocery haul. So right here we have the Japanese sweet potatoes, which I'm absolutely in love with. Those and these acorn squashes kind of make up our starches mostly for the week. And then all of the peaches plums, apples, all of this, even these melons are from Canada right now. Our fruit season is booming. So this is kind of our fruit haul for the week. I also got these tomatoes and those are just my supplements for my mercury removal. And of course I always have a box of bananas that I freeze and then make into ice cream a lot throughout the week. And then in the fridge, I got some organic eggs which are awesome. They're really good. Um, I'm going to be doing more fish. So I got this um, wild salmon and I'm going to be doing that a couple times a week and some carrots, some cucumbers, some cabbage, cauliflower, and back here I have a bunch of lettuce because I'm going to be focusing on salads because I cannot have beans anymore. I just can't do them. So I'm going to try to replace the beans with, yeah, salads. And then here I always have some oranges and just lemons and stuff. And then I also just got some of these Thai Kitchen coconut milk. I love these. There's nothing added to them except for water. And they're so much better than the canned ones. And then I also just got some of these Thirsty Buddhas because I put those in our smoothies. So I got a bunch of those. And then these are just like leftover meat sticks that I give the kids whenever they want a snack. And my daughter really likes um, like sardines and uh, what are these? Yeah, these are sardines as well. So we're, I got her just one of these because she loves them. And so the moment of truth. Um, <laughs> My plan, unfortunately, I guess, is to lower my meat consumption to twice a week and try to get my protein from vegetables, fruit. And I know this is going to be tough, so I don't know how it's going to go because I can't do beans. I can't do nuts and seeds very well, which I might try, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, I have to lower my protein, I think, my at least my animal protein. I'll probably do some eggs as well, just because um, it seems to be affecting my hormones. Ever since I stopped being vegan, I have had crazy heavy periods and hormone issues. And so I know it's something to do with the animal products I added back in. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but that's the only thing I can see left to do because I can't counteract the hormones with the beans anymore or the nuts and seeds or grains really. So what else can I do? I don't know. I feel like I've tried everything just to be able to eat more meat and it's not working for me. And I don't want to keep bleeding like this and being anemic. So I finally feel like I have a grasp on my anemia with my supplement that I love. It's a non-heme source of iron. I think I've showed you guys before. This one right here, the my kind, I love it. And I finally feel like I have my iron somewhat under control. And so now it's just a matter of lessening my periods so it doesn't keep happening. And I'm going to be getting a blood test so I can update anyone who's interested on how that's going with official numbers. Anyway, so that's what I'm trying. And I'm sorry if people are disappointed in me for not eating enough animal foods, but that's kind of what it's come to and I really feel like I've done just about everything to keep eating the amount of meat I was and I can't I can't so it's going to be cut down to twice a week with some occasional eggs maybe maybe not we'll see how the period thing goes 
Yeah. And I'll let you guys know how it goes.